Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today's Friday freebie day. We are on number 66. Now I thought we would just do something really pretty today. Now these are some lovely sort of like writing papers. Now I'm going to show you how to distress them and make them a little bit older looking. Um, so it's just a really simple one and it's a lovely one to add to your journals especially if you're doing this is a nice sort of vintage one and a shabby one um, and they work really well together so it's just a quite simple nice one you can cut them out and use them as they are you can print them onto tea coffee stain paper colored paper anything you like so you can just alter them however by just printing on different papers um, different colour papers. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing, um, which are these here, and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So so simple. So all that I've done, I've just tried to age them um, so they look nice. I've printed them off a couple of times. So um, we've got a nice little stack of the um, nice brownie ones, the vintagey ones, and a little stack of the blue ones here. And I think that would just pop into a journal, lovely. Um, I've got one of my new little uh, words and phrases there which says treasured and I've just got a little embellishment of one of my kits here um, on there as a dingly dangly and a little bit of the seam binding just to wrap around it so I'll show you how to do those as well because it's quite simple um, which I'm loving and I think they just look so nice really really nice so you can imagine that in the front of a journal um, if you popped it into the very front um, pocket of your journal I think that would look really really pretty so very very simple um, so let's pop those to the side now I've got some ready here um, just so that we can make some little packages up so I'm going to show you how to do it on this one so just cut it out this is just done on um, 120 GSM paper not 120 it was 160 GSM paper I've printed this on because I want to distress the edges now I'm going to just use my big pair of scissors here now again you've probably seen me do this a couple of times if you watch my videos um, and I'm just rubbing the scissors along the edges of the paper just to distress it now again if you've got one of your little distressing tools or anything like that you can use that but a pair of scissors is really really good um, so you just want to just rough it up it's easier to just hold it and just go backwards and forwards like that all the way around the edge now the 160 paper GSM paper is a little bit thicker um, so it gives you a nice sort of like um, grungy edge to it so bear in mind the thinner the paper be careful doing this because you'll rip it um, so just do it lightly just do a little gentle one um, around the edges because look too much and you rip it I'm a bit heavy handed but do take your time doing it because um, it really is worth it and a few little rips doesn't matter because it just adds to the um, grunginess and the distressed look so just go all the way around the edge like this okay perfect now what I want to do then I'm just going to take my um, vintage photo ink the um, Tim Holtz Distress my little blender you can see the mess that I've been making already today just go round the edges and just catch those little bits that you've um, grunged up here okay so it just darkens them up and makes it sort of ages it a little bit now this little rip bit you can just add a little bit more ink to that just go all the way around so it doesn't matter if you bend it because it just all adds to the to the um, distress look now once that's on the front that looks lovely now I've got white back so I'm going to just go around the edges again on here now you can if you've had tea stain paper if you print on tea stain paper then um, you don't have to sort of like go around the middle so let's just do that look, you can see why I burnt my finger this week I've had a bit of a clumsy week this week I burnt my finger and then when I was taking a walk on the beach on Monday I managed to twist my ankle 
Um, so that wasn't fun. So I did spend a couple of days on the sofa catching up with my fussy cutting. So I had a little bit of a rest. So once you've um, inked both sides, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to fold these ones in half. Now the other ones here, I've actually just folded them in three. So it depends, you can do it however you like. Well, I'm just going to fold these ones in half. Then I'm going to get my scissors again and I'm just going to run it just distress a little bit along that edge. Not all of it, just a little bit. Just so you can see here, it's just a little bit distressed there. Just like it looks like it's been folded, folded in half for a while. Just like that, just go on both sides. Can you see? So it looks like it's just been folded. Now I'm going to fold it in half the other way and just go along that line as well, like that. So there we are. Looks like an old, grungy old letter. Now you can just dress these up as much as you like. Okay, so if you want them a little bit more ripped, then you can do that as well. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Now I have these ones here as well which I've done exactly the same so I'm just going to fold these in half and I just think they look lovely so I'm just going to have them all turn up like that pop them in a little pile now I have got some coffee stain um, seam binding I have got one of my little words and phrases here this is from the new kit so this is this is what I would be fussy cutting look lots and lots of fussy cuts so this is um, out of the new Words and Phrases 5 and these are the other ones, these are the big ones here which are really really lovely. Now I'm going to just round the corners on here just like that, okay. And then I've got a piece of card, now let's just ink this just around the edge like that and I'm going to stick it this one says hugs and I think that looks really nice I think that would look lovely on there so I'm going to get a little bit of glue so this again this is just my um, tacky glue in here and then it's just watered down a little bit just so it's a little bit thinner um, to be able to come out of the little bottle I'm going to stick that on there then just trim around it like that and then again I'm just going to round the edges off oops I just broke my punch let's see there we go don't know what happened then just ink those little bits so that's all done and now I'm going to just make two little holes in here either end like that now I'm going to pop a couple of little um, of these little eyelets in here I've got little black ones here so I'm going to pop those in. I'm going to get my cropper dial here and just punch those in. Not 100, I got these little little eyelets from a shop in Spain, online shop in Spain and I'm not 100% sure whether they actually go with those because they bend it just a little bit too much. I'm not quite sure what size they are but they're the smallest ones that they had. I find it quite difficult to get these eyelets so I'm going to pop that on there what did I do with my seam binding and then I'm going to just pop it through there if it will go through like that through one side so I do it through the back like that 
chop that off make it a little bit neater maybe get it through the hole a bit better so there we go so just pull that through like that and I'm going to pop them all together I'm going to just tie it round this way and now I'm going to just pop the bow on the side because I think that looks really pretty just on the side like that just do a little bow here well, that's quite a big bow but pop that on there so you've got a nice little bow and how lovely does that look let's just push that down because I want it at the bottom you either have it bottom at the top but I wanted to keep this rose there so you can see it so I'm just going to chop that off bronchle it up a little bit like that now I think that looks so so pretty and then what I've got is I've made a little embellishment here little round one with on a little bulb pin and what I've done I've just popped that through there so it just dingles down like that because we have to have our little dingly danglies don't we so I think that looks really really pretty and so simple um, but again you can use the papers however you like um, but I thought I'd just give you that idea of having some beautiful writing papers in there and I think they look really really lovely so there we go guys I hope you like this one I think it is so pretty loving the blue really really lovely um, so there we are um, thank you so much for joining me this is what you will get so don't forget pop over to the Facebook group and um, if you're not a member and um, there is a link down below under the video um, so just join the group and you'll have access to all of the Friday freebies so this is number 66 so you there's lots and lots in there um, and they are all really really lovely lots of projects to keep you going all right guys thank you so so much for joining me please have a fantastic weekend and I will see you all soon all right guys take care bye bye